there we go, that's on. Hello everyone. Whew. I just got up. It's fucking 12 o'clock in the middle of the day. It's not as bright as it usually is. What's up with that? Hang on, I'm gonna go look. see what's going on outside. Makes sense. <coughs> it's overcast. It's all cloudy. I got up. I decided to jump into watching YouTube and see what's going on. Who's saying what about the, um, the government intervention or attempt at an intervention into the the fucking predatory bullshit that the gaming industry is doing? Said it begin. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Begin. Hmm, before and again. If you mix those two words together, you get begin. Interesting. Fuck off, Trey! Fuck you! said it before and I'll say it again I saw bullshit coming 15 16 fucking years ago sent letters to Microsoft they fucking ignored me altogether hell what was the first video in my very first channel me talking about how the gaming industry is violating your unalienable rights so you know what? Every country, every every form of government, every almost every individual on the fucking planet has got it into their heads that they're separate from everyone else. You're not. The whole world is the whole fucking world. It's not separate fucking planets. You don't live on a different continent and a separate fucking planet from this one that you're fucking on. Either everyone works together for the benefit of everyone or you're all just going to fucking destroy each other. That's the way it works. Assholes like the idiots in charge of the gaming industry who just are in it now for the fucking money. You're not separate from everyone else. You've pushed and you've pushed to the point where you've got the, the fucking governments going, okay, I think it's time to do something now. This is getting out of hand. And you've had people like me literally fucking screaming at you, telling you to quit this shit. To go off and fucking kill yourself because you're fucking morons and you're not contributing anything to the the benefit of humanity as a whole you're detracting from it you're taking away from it <coughs> everyone else the fuck is wrong with you 
you, you can't fucking wake the fuck up and realize that your inaction, your inability to take action against these bullshit things is just, you know, letting them do this bullshit. The inaction is the same as supporting it. What the fuck? It's all relevant. Every last bit of it. Parents who don't give a fuck about their kids' lives. Who let them take daddy's credit card or mommy's credit card and just go off and, and spend fucking thousands of dollars in microtransactions. Yeah. Your, your lack of giving a fuck about the kids' lives and what they do. That's the same as contributing to the problem. And don't take it as me saying, oh, you need to go be a fucking parent and fucking discipline your kids. No, no. Because I know what most of you American parents think. You think you need to go and punish your fucking kids. You don't discipline them. You fucking punish them outright. You think, oh, because you did this thing and it's not right because look at the backlash it's getting in the fucking judicial and legal system now. But you need to be punished. No, no. You need to sit down and talk with your fucking kids. You need to talk with them like they're an actual fucking person instead of a piece of fucking property that you own and control because you fucking don't. Stop treating your kids like fucking slaves. You're propagating the same bullshit that's been going on for fucking centuries. <coughs> now it's gotten so far out of hand It's just fucking ridiculous. You need to sit down as a fucking family, as a group of people who actually give a fuck about each other, and discuss things. Don't talk at your fucking family. Talk with them, okay? Parents, you fucking idiots. All this bullshit where you go around smashing their fucking consoles and shit, fuck you, yeah. Just kill yourself. You're a fucking useless human being. You're a fucking piece of trash. All this bullshit where you yell at them and ground them and shit, that's not accomplishing a single fucking thing. It's not helping anything. All you're telling your kids at that point is that you don't give a fuck about them. On the emotional and psychological level, you don't give a fuck about them. You just want to control everything they do. And that they're your fucking property. That's what you're telling your kids when you do this knee-jerk bullshit. And the same thing applies to the people in charge. To the governments trying to do something now about this, this whole fucking bullshit. You've let it go on too fucking long. Now's the point where you need to take bitches like Bobby Kotick and publicly execute the motherfuckers to get a point across that what you're doing is fucking wrong. You've let these fucking assholes be little fucking two-year-old bitches for too fucking long. You need to make a dramatic and brutal fucking example out of them because they're grown-ass fucking adults. Grown-ass fucking adults. Yeah, they claim that. They claim they're grown men and women. Yet they act like fucking two-year-olds pitching a fucking tantrum. It's time to rid the fucking industry of those bitches and publicly fucking execute them for violating everyone's unalienable fucking rights, which is treason. And to all the kids, mellow down. Don't pitch a fucking wobbler just because you want something or just because it's dressed up in a shiny fucking package. You know, like with the fucking loot boxes. <coughs> they dress it up in shiny fucking packages. EA did it to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Literally, that metallic finish that they put on the, the uh, graphics. Shiny fucking packages with glowing buttons and shit. Shiny glowy shit. 
just to attract ignorant people into wanting it because it's shiny. Playing on your primitive psychology and how undeveloped you are as an individual. It's, yeah, it's all a fucking trap. It's kids. Don't throw a fucking tantrum because you want something that looks shiny in a video game. Just because it's shiny doesn't mean jack shit. If you want a good example, look at the shiny golden turd in um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's just literally a gold piece of shit. Literally. In the game's lore and in its actual design, it's a golden piece of shit. Don't want something just because it's fucking shiny. Now, I'm not your fucking parent, so I'm not going to tell you the things that they should be telling you, which is how to emotionally, psychologically, and mentally mature yourself. Those are three out of the five aspects of the pyramid of self. Yeah, there's your emotion, your emotional state, your mental state psychological state, your physical state, and your consciousness. Those first four are at the base, that's your foundation, and your consciousness sits up top. That's why the pyramid with the all-seeing eye is on the back of the fucking dollar bill. It's a graphical representation of the pyramid of self. That's what the Illuminati actually put it in there for. That's why they built the fucking pyramids. It's a literal fucking physical representation of the pyramid of self. That's why the pharaohs were buried in them. That's why all, almost every pyramid and uh, temple on the fucking planet is in that basic pyramidic shape. <coughs> Hell, even the Moscow and Russia is in that basic shape. I mean, yeah, the domes are like orb shape, but just look at the basic layout. Fuck, you want to go one further? Look at the way a house is laid out. It's got this big angular roof and this big foundation that's square fucking everywhere if you look the examples of the pyramid of self you have to grow everything equilaterally and equiangular basically all the parts equal <clears throat> if you mess up and one's too small and too underdeveloped the rest of the pyramid's just going to collapse over the top of it <clears throat> It is relevant, it is pertinent, it does have an impact on everything I'm saying. And if I didn't give a fuck, I wouldn't be saying anything at all, I would just be laughing. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I've said enough for now. Maybe I'll say some more in a different video later. But till next time, bye. Oh, yeah, before I go, get your notifications going and uh, subscribe. Like and dislike, leave a comment. I'm pretty sure there's some uh, religious uh, stuff from different religions across the planet that's pertinent and relative and relevant to what I'm saying. Until next time, bye.